This building has engineers, it has scientists, and it has production staff. And our production staff takes uh, low-grade agricultural waste like corn stalks, which come into the back of our building. Uh, it, they cook them, they sterilize them, they add moisture, and then they add the magic, which is our mycelium cells. And then we deposit this mixture into molds or forms, and over the next 48 to 96 hours, the mycelium grows through these forms and converts the agricultural waste into high-grade biological composites. So this already has the fungal mycelium grown throughout it. So it's a, a combination of locally sourced farm waste. This is mostly corn. And uh, what you don't see right now, you see little pieces of, is the white mycelium tissue. And over the course of the next four days, once it's in this enclosure, it'll transform this brown matter into its white mass. What's going on here is the fungal mycelium is already evenly distributed throughout the entire volume. So it doesn't matter if it's an insulation panel or a protective packaging part, it all takes the same amount of time. So our first commercial product was protective packaging with the goal of replacing the, the styrofoam or foam plastic that comes in your mail, which is trash essentially. Uh, that product's on the market, it's home compostable, uh, big brands are using it. You know, you may order a product today that comes with mushroom packaging. And when you're done using it, it's a nutrient. It's not a pollutant, you can actually put it in your garden. The packaging we make, even though it's home compostable, it doesn't spontaneously degrade in the mail. You know, it has to be broken up and put into the natural environment to, to trigger degradation. So this is an example of some recent surface fairness experimentation we've been doing. Um, basically trying to grow the fluffiest, softest sample for an electronics customer. And you can see um, this is a setting that went really well. See a good little level of overgrowth. Um, this one where you're starting to see some aging of the material is a little more abrasive and was not a successful environmental condition. So it is an iterative process and it can take anywhere from a single iteration, which is always the best, but normally it pans out to be months, which equates to eight to ten iterations before we have a product that actually makes it in front of a customer. And under heat and pressure, we've been able to compress and consolidate these materials into custom molded forms so much so that they perform and have the same structural integrity as a wood composite that might have these toxic substances like urea formaldehyde. We've found a real market pull in molded composites. So for example, uh, if you were to take a desktop organizer, that would normally go through a subtractive manufacturing process where you're slowly machining and removing material. That requires a substantial amount of time, labor, and of course the, the cost of overhead. What we do here at Ecovative is we mold those products in the growth phase and then in the press. So we eliminate the need for any type of post-processing, which drives our costs down. So today, all the products we sell are actually below that a traditional plywood or uh, um, medium density fiberboard that would be subtractively processed. We can continue to increase our capacity here at Ecovative, and that's something that we're working to do, both optimizing the equipment that we use in the facility that you're in today, as well as expanding the space. We're actually expanding in New York as well. Uh, but it's true, we do need space. We basically trade uh, high throughput, high energy, and very expensive processes for very inexpensive processes that require more floor space. And today we do have an abundance of floor space, particularly as manufacturing is slowed. We're trying to bring manufacturing back into the U.S. Um, but there's ample opportunity to acquire space, and luckily anywhere in this country we can find farm waste. Within 500 miles, there's going to be a farm and a raw material that's applicable to our process.